Yo, Karla Freta, my name is Arna Lund, and today I am in Oslo, the capital of Norway, and I have around four or five hours here before I will catch a train to Stockholm, which is, you know, the perfect. There's a lot of sound. It's the perfect opportunity for me to get some street photos with the Sony 10 to 18. So as I was just saying, today I'm going to walk around downtown Oslo, or just Oslo in general, taking photos with this lens here. This is the 10 to 18, and those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that I love this lens. I use this lens so much, and it's so fun, because it's so wide, it's so fun to shoot, especially street photography with it, because you can get so much. Anyways, we're also in super luck today, because today <laughs> it's snowing, and man do I love snow. So because this is such a wide lens, I'm mainly focusing on cityscapes and you know getting some getting some nice architecture shots and just showing the immenseness of the city while still trying, you know, to capture some interesting subjects going in the frame. It's a waiting game, you know, you wait, you wait, you wait, and then bam, get it. <laughs> I've never been, you know, comfortable with going straight up to a stranger's face and just shoot them. My friend Timon, he's a beast at it. I, <laughs> Timon, how do you do that? I'll, I'll, I'll link Timon's Instagram down below you can see it. He just basically, it's, it seems like he goes straight up to people's faces and just shoots them. <laughs> if I do it, I need a long lens. So that's what we're doing with the wider angle today. <laughs> I'll be completely honest with you, my fingers are freezing. <laughs> Here's a little video update of me. I've been mainly walking around in Centrum now for about... Oh my God, there's so much sound. Let's do this again. <laughs> All right, take two. Hopefully there is less noise here. So I've been walking around for about three hours right now, mainly in city Centrum. I was thinking about going to the hipster neighborhood. This very colorful thing is called like Grünlücke. Grünlücke, yeah. It's very colorful building, super beautiful, but I don't really have time. I think also that I've... I've I, I'm pretty sure I've captured a few bangers, but you never know, you know, until you put them in a computer and watch. But I, I feel like I've had at least, uh, at least, at least two, at least three, probably three. <laughs> Anyways, I have like one more hour to go and we are gonna use it wisely and try to capture at least, at least one more banger. And then I'll be home tomorrow and I think it will be a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I have like one more hour to go and we're gonna use it wisely and try to capture at least one more banger. And I'll be home tomorrow and then I'm gonna do a little breakdown of my favorite photos. So yeah, it's basically just gonna be a packed schedule with funness.
so I am back home. It's good to be home. <laughs> <laughs> now we do this again. Talking to the camera. One, two, one, two. Yes. Should I maybe start talking with an Icelandic accent? Yes. Hello, my name is Arnulfur and I come from Iceland. It's a very beautiful country. It's very cold, but a nice country. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Nonsense. All right, so I'm back home. Uh, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. It's good to be, you know, back in my own, own apartment. I've also edited all the photos and I've also edited the video. So I hope that you like what you saw. <laughs> Anyways, enough of the nonsense. I am going to show you guys the favorite photos that I took and I'm going to break it down, do a little bit behind the scene, what I was thinking when I was doing them and also a little bit about, you know, a little bit just about the photos, what I like about them and stuff. So let's just start this. I take out my phone and here we have it. So first photo is this one here. This is for me just a typical street photo. I, I saw this place and I snapped it and in post I was like, damn, this looks good. Now the editing I really like here is pretty faded and I, I dragged down most of the blues and I just, I just like it. This is not the best shot, the best shot is last. Ooh. It's probably one of my favorite shots of all time, the best shot. You, you see it soon, which one I like the most. Maybe it's the same as you like the most. But this shot to me, it was just a classic, classic uh, street shot. <laughs> it just looks very, it's on a street, you know. Now next shot that I really liked was uh, this shot here. Now this shot, there, there is, uh, is this also in your city? Uh, here in Stockholm, this is in Oslo, but here in Stockholm, these scooters are everywhere. Now. I kind of, I have a mixed feeling about them, but they make for a great photo. I, the, the symmetry there is just insane. Like, and also that we had the subject there. And I really like the grade. It's pretty contrasty, but not too much. And it's just so epic. And the red color really, really pops out. I, don't know, I, I was just super happy. I even uh, posted it on Instagram. So it got, you know, it was good enough to be, <laughs> be on the gram. So another shot that I really, really liked was this shot here. Now I found this place and I was like, whoa looking up and I was like, damn, this is a great place. So, and I, and I, I stood there for a while, uh, finding a great angle. And once I found this angle, cause I, you can see the leading line going there, the stairs, and then it's just immense buildings. And I don't know, I like, I like cobblestone. Is that, no, that's not cobblestone. It's in, in Swedish, it's Tegelsten, those, uh, those yellow brick houses. Tegelsten, what's that, Tegelstone? <laughs> uh, yes, it's a Tegelstone house. Anyways. I really liked the composition there. I was super, super happy, but there was no subject. So as in like when you are doing street talk, at least me, I basically find frame that I like and then I wait. So I just waited there for, I think I waited there for like 15 minutes until one woman ran <laughs> and this must be so creepy because I'm, I'm really just waiting. I'm trying to be smooth, you know, <laughs> I, I'm not waiting like this. I'm trying to be like, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm not doing anything. I'm just been standing here for 20 minutes. And, uh, and then she ran up and I, snapped and I had already decided the frame so I was just waiting for a subject to drop in the frame and she was the perfect subject so it would have been nice if she won yellow or red but her shoes were red and she had a didn't she have a red hat yes she had a red hat so yeah I was happy and, and she was kind of running and, and having a subject there makes the photo way more interesting and also the edit it was not too much, it was just perfect. Really like that shot. And then my favorite photo by far, and probably one of my favorite photos like ever is this shot here. This is ISO 640. It's tighter than the other shot. You can see that it's I tied it into 18 millimeters because this is the lens is 10 to 18. You can go <laughs> take it from 10 to 18. Kind of, you know. Don't have to explain that. It's f.4. I shot all these shots at f.4. I really like f.4. It doesn't make everything too sharp. And it's 1 400th of a second. Now, this shot is just so... I, 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 I like it so much. It's interesting. He's going down. I really, really, really like that it's like orange down there where it's going into. So I, 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 I kind of bumped up the orange. I, I uh, both drag it up and then I... I added like a circle radio filter and then made orange in it. <laughs> I don't know if you understand all that, but that was a really nice tip. Um, and and here, like, I'm feeling like I'm I'm getting into a new, I'm I'm leveling up in photography, my editing skills with this photo here. I'm, I'm like in the past, I've 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 uh, added contrast to a like the, drag the contrast lighter or messed a lot with the. Uh, Tone curves. Here I messed with the tone curves, but it didn't really touch the contrast lighter because when you touch the contrast lighter, you're adding contrast to the entire picture. Instead, what I did there, I was playing with the, with the, uh, with the what do you call it? the radial filters? No, 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 not the radial filters. Oh, the 
The radiator filter is a circle filter. The, um, is that radiator filter? Gradient filter, the gradient filter. I was playing with a gradient filter to create contrast by using, by either like making one side way darker and then dragging on the other side and making that a little bit brighter. I also used the radial filters to punch in and make him more contrasty. I painted him and contrasted him. So the entire picture didn't become contrast, only the places where I wanted. So I was like playing with the light to create contrast in that way. And then the general editors was just sick. Like I, I created a preset of this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna perfect this one. One more thing that I did to this photo is I cleaned it up. So look, this is how I look after I've done the Lightroom editing. And then in Photoshop, I took away all the distractions. And by doing this, you are cleaning up the photo making it so, so they're not distractions everywhere, making it way more cleaner so you can really let the eyes just wander around the photo where you want to go, to go, you know, to the subject. And it's just clean and nice. It's so much nicer. You can see the difference here. Like in the beginning, you don't think so, but it's just it's so much more cleaner. Anyways, <laughs> that's it for me today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in comments down below. If you're still watching, you're a legend. Thank you. You, you, <laughs> you, you watched through my ads. I'm... Uh, Thank you for that. It means a lot to me. Um, I said that if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below. Uh, smack that like button. I think I've said it before. And yeah, um, this was super fun. I hope that you liked <laughs> the behind the scene of what I was thinking. Again, thank you. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.